Hello my soccer universe and before anything else let me wish you a very happy, healthy and successful new year 2023. Typically, uh, typically over the past two years the first video every year was kind of what are the jerseys that I'm looking forward to getting and I have to say this year's it's a little bit more complicated so more on that in a little bit. I will present you a list with uh, shirts that I'm potentially looking into, but um, I have to explain a little bit more. But I also want to show you the jersey. Let's combine this. The jersey that I got for the new year, which uh, I got because to save on shipping on a Christmas present. And then I we decided, okay, this was also because I got patches on it uh, a little bit more expensive because of that. Let's say, okay, this might be a nice New Year's present because in my family we have three days we're present. So the one that I have is the last shirt used in the 21-22 Europa Conference League. And I have Europa Conference League patches on there. There is no name set because Lusk doesn't print in the old style again, which is so funny because they had uh, a style that they used for uh, years. Then they got a new one last year and now they're going back to the old one. And I really wonder why would have loved to get a name set on it, but you know, uh, doesn't really uh, matter. So I really, really, I always liked this jersey and it is in my top 10 videos. This was one of the positive uh, surprises that they beat Slavia Praha exactly wearing this one I have to say maybe it's a bit too colorful for a Lusk jersey and I think that the black version and even the dark pink version do a slightly better job but I, it's this one that I wanted to have and having a conference league patch also makes it really really nice and there we get it already for the new jersey so this is the one new jersey and I have a few one already lined up so there will be new jersey videos but patches I think I really wanna now because I have already so many jerseys and the uh, uh, sad truth is there is not much more that I I don't have much space left let's put it that way so I wanna actually improve existing jerseys and you see here I have a bunch of patches that I have uh, collected over the past year that I would like to apply the latest ones of course some of these uh, but I think I will use these two on the um, Italy shirt and then maybe that one with a, I need to get another respect patch somehow we have uh, some Premier League patches with champions uh, so it has to be and then of course a whole bunch of Serie A patches which also will need application uh, so I want to work on that one maybe even look into name sets and uh, the thing is that here in Austria it is not that straightforward of getting these done so I probably will have to sh uh, ask around uh, the community where I could send this because you know it's not only um, I know that there are many uh, services in the British Isles but this includes then at least uh, always uh, considerable shipping charges and on the way back I would have to pay customs again so I actually would like to look for a more European solution there let's see what I will find this is more something that I want to investigate so yeah, um, as I said, I actually, since I have bought now so many jerseys, especially uh, in the um, weeks leading up to the World Cup and uh, during the World Cup, I actually really think I gotta take a break a little bit from buying jerseys. I wanna, ideally, I know it's really, really hard because uh, you know, you overall always are looking, but ideally, uh, I really would like to uh, wait until let's say at the beginning of March or you know somewhere springtime although there is another holiday in there where I typically get a jersey let's see um, but I honestly I first want to take a little bit of a break and figure out the stuff with the patches as I said I have actually a bunch of jerseys I think five to six already lined up that should be arriving over the next few weeks so I will definitely have unpacking videos for uh, at least five more weeks so in that sense it should be uh, that content will uh, continue coming and I probably will stretch it a little bit 
Uh, so yeah, this is where my thinking is at this moment, and therefore making a top ten shopping list uh, does not seem to f to be uh, the right thing to do. However, I have spent a little time and thought, what would be my objects? First off, you saw in my um, top ten acquisitions video that I have ticked off three absolute grails of mine. I actually have to rethink my grails list. I think the only one that comes to mind is, and it's because it is jerseys that I have experienced during my time as a football fan. That's why I don't think I will put the Netherlands 1988 jersey up there. But for instance, the Italy 94 home, or even better, the away jersey, would be something that I is an immediate one that comes to mind. But you know, not necessarily now that this I need to have this immediately. I also then uh, went through um, my collection and also, you know, what other holes because one part is in my video backgrounds when I make review videos, I would like to have a little bit choice for each of the leagues. In the German Bundesliga at the moment, I'm looking really, really good, although probably two teams I will lose due to relegation. But uh, I think I have uh, amassed last year a really good German Bundesliga collection without having too many jerseys. But there are a few that, uh, you know, at least I would like to have a second and potentially for some uh, uh, third one. I'm thinking especially uh, Köln and Frankfurt and, of course, the nice Stuttgart uh, jerseys. In, um, let's go the other one. In Italy, I have many teams on Serie B and not many will make it up. So I actually think potentially I have to look a little bit uh, to add a few teams. There is one Sassola that is a glaring one that I probably should add. In the Premier League, yes, I think my Premier League collection is quite fine. Uh, of course, I have been now having Leeds United for two years on my list without heavy, having found one for a decent price that I like the look of. This season's home jersey would be really, really nice. So, uh, And then there are other teams. I mean, Forest sooner or later will need to be in my collection because uh, one other goal is to have from every European Cup winner or Champions League winner a jersey. So Forest should go in there. I'm also thinking Brighton, Fulham, Brentford, you know, all these teams that I have some sort of either connection or I like their jerseys. Again, not on the highest priority now because I think in the Premier League I'm really, really well set. I also think La Liga, especially since I combined with Liga Portugal, uh, I'm looking quite decent, although uh, there could potentially be uh, Rayo Vallecano because they had so na such nice jerseys uh, there could potentially be uh, you know um, I would like to have uh, the light blue Atletico Madrid jersey from last year or um, you know doubling up for the Basque uh, Giants getting an away jersey or especially the Betis home jersey uh, would be really nice to have so those are kind of the, the big leagues. Where I really think I need to uh, get a little bit more is Liga. Although it is quite good, I think there are a few teams in there that I feel I need to have. Um, Liga Portugal, especially the Eredivisie, I really would like to get a little bit more variety there. And then uh, maybe, and probably, it's so weird because I live in Austria, but you know, a little bit more of the Austrian League, uh, maybe a, a, a jersey here, a, a few more teams that are in there. I think my overarching goal is that uh, come to start of the next um, next year's uh, Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League campaign that from my eight from the eight leagues that I'm covering, I have a jersey uh, for each of the participants in there. This would be my ultimate goal. Uh, and so, you know, this I could slowly build up a little bit, but especially Liga uh, Eredivisie and Liga Portugal, especially, I, th I actually want to put a little bit of focus on the Eredivisie, which is a bit hard to, hard to get, probably will need a little bit more investment from my side, because you, I probably have to, when at the, at, at the end of season, buy from club shops, and then you cannot buy as crazy. So having said all that, here is a very tentative list and I don't want to say that this is now the list that I'm going to have. Uh, I will probably do a video a little bit further down the road. 
you see these are all teams that I don't have in my collection that I would like to have and you know it's a little bit of everything there but it's not exhaustive and I probably have to redo it. You, on the right side you see the top 10 jerseys from the last year, uh, there's always a shopping list from the 21, uh, from 21, I still have a few that I could get 20, from 20 and so on so uh, this rolls over but Teams that I would like to have, the top nine are all new teams. We have AZ, because AZ is really good in Europe. I think I should get AZ, also Braga. Uh, are two teams and Lost is also doing really, really well. Twente, maybe as well. So those are four teams that really uh, I would put high on my priority list. Leeds, Nice, Sassolo, Montpellier and Guimaraes are teams that I would love to have because A, they add some, they, you either have nice jerseys, they add some interesting colors or they are just traditional teams that I, I wish to have in my collection and, and I add one that I want to double up because I've been looking into this would be a green jersey for Bremen. I have this oldish white one and I want to have a nice looking one. So that's where my head is at at the moment. Uh, yes, there are thoughts. Should I branch out into other leagues? I have, I uh, before I end this video, uh, where of course teams that are currently present are like Klabru, Schachter, Fenerbahce, Young Boy, you know, uh, some more Belgian teams. Nothing really, I don't cover the, Bel the Belgian league, but you know, get a few of the big ones in there. Uh, Schachter has been really, really, really good. Uh, maybe Schachter and Dynamo Kiev would be nice to have the Ukrainians in there. Uh, from the Turkish league, get the four big teams there. Uh, Fenerbahce is still in the European contention, so that would be interesting. And Young Boys, you know, Switzerland, I actually, Young, young Boys is my Swiss team. There could also be a Basel is still in the Conference League present. So uh, those are also thoughts that I'm having. And then national teams. But honestly, there are only two that I really would like to have. I'm mainly kind of looking forward to the Women's World Cup, which I'm not sure how much I will cover because this will be also falling into my vacation time. I've been to China. I don't have a China jersey. I really would like to have a nice China jersey. And New Zealand would also be really nice to have. In Europe, I'm looking mostly Romania and the second Poland shirt. So yeah, those are just some thoughts. But again, here I put it again up. The top 10 jerseys tentatively that I'm looking forward to. Again, I got this last jersey. And of course, I would like to extend my Lask and Milan collection as well. So there you go. But here again, this beautiful Lask jersey. I would like to have the other two too. But for now... I really, 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 really want to take a break and focus on patches. And then maybe when I say it's time that I'm going back to, okay, let's look into the list. Let's, let's see teams. How are they doing in the seasons? What could I get? What could I not get? That's basically my beginning of the year video. Again, I have a very happy new year to all of you and please let me know what you thought about this. Um, I'm not asking now for any hints or leads on finding any of these jerseys because again, I don't want to look at this very, 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 very moment. This might be coming back later. In any case, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!